Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see this sum. Um, we are drawing copying isometric. So width is 40, length is 80 and height is 44 plus 20, 64. So we'll draw layout like that. So after drawing layout, we'll take this height 44. Then I have to draw radius 20. So I will take rhombus 40 and I will draw a circle by 4 center method. So I am taking 40, 40. See this. This much will be dark. I will take 40. And I will draw rhombus. This is longest diagonal. Then I will take midpoint. 20. And from here I will join. lines like this now from this point let's say point one I will draw this arc and from point two three and from point three we'll draw this arc this line will be dark This line will be dark. I will take 16 from here. And I will draw a line. From here I will go up by 20. And whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind with that concept. We can draw this rectangle. So we are done with the boxes. See the same circle will come four times. So once we have already done, now we need to draw. Now we need to draw three more times. I will draw a vertical line from here and I will extend line from here. Then I So here again I'll take 40, 40, 40 to draw rhombus or we can take this point behind. See this is point 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we can take point 1 and 3 behind by 16 and then 48. See this I'm taking point 1 and point 3 behind and I have taken tangent. This is 16. See this total is 80 minus 16 will be 64 minus 16 would be 48. See from here you go behind by 16 first. Take this radius go behind by 16 so that point 1 is gone inside by 16. Draw arc. Same way you take point 3 to that radius. Again go behind and from that point again you draw curve. So this is how you'll get this. This line will be dark. This line is dark. After that, see again I'm showing that calculation 80 minus 16 is 64. 80 minus 16 is 64 and if you do minus 16 then it will be 48 so you have to go 48 behind so from this point you go 64 or from this point you go 48 behind so it is coming here only 
so you have both the options either you take that point 1 behind by 64 or you draw rhombus now again take the same radius and you can draw an arc see this take this radius go behind by 64 draw an arc same way take this radius and from here you draw an arc then you draw a vertical line vertical line from here then you draw a line this way so this is how you will get We can draw tangent. Now from that point you can take 16. Again from this point 16. To draw one more circle. It will be half circle. See take this radius. Go behind by 16. And again you draw arc. Again you take this radius and you draw arc and you draw tangent. See this, same way you go behind by 16 and you draw arc. So all these points are important or if you don't want to project it like this then you have to draw rhombus again and you have to draw a circle. After this again we will find out midpoint. We'll go down by 20 and we'll draw plus and from that point we'll draw rhombus 20 because we need to we need to draw circle of diameter 20 so we'll draw plus and from center we'll cut we'll cut up by 10 we'll go down by 10 left and right 10 10 So this way you will get rhombus. See this here also you can draw rhombus. Go up by 10, go down by 10 and left and right you can take 10, 10. So you will get rhombus. Again you draw 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 2. This is 3 and 4. So you draw a circle by using four center method. So I hope you people have understood how to draw a circle and how to copy this sum. Thank you. Here also you will draw longest diagonal 1, 2, 3, 4 and same way you will draw circle. Thank you.